Hey guys, welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, we're going to talk about Discord timeout feature. A new timeout feature has been introduced on the Discord where you'll be able to timeout the users or members of a certain server. Um, now, what this means is basically the affected users who've been timed out, uh, they won't be able to send any messages, react to any messages, or join any kind of voice channels or video calls while they're in the timeout period. Now, in order to access this feature, um, you might have to enable the new permission. By default, it will be available for the main admins, um, but you might have to enable this uh, for the other users. Let me show you how you can actually enable this. So let's say that um, you're the, um, the main admin and you want to give the access to a different um, user. Then for that, you need to go to uh, the server settings and then um, under server settings, go to role. Uh, under roles, let's say this is the person where you, who you want to give the access um, to. So uh, you need to go to uh, click on their profile, then go to permissions and under permissions, scroll down and then under the membership permissions, uh, you have the new option of timeout members. You just need to enable this and then um, that particular person will be able to uh, timeout other people as well. So it's usually given to the moderators or the admins. Now, let me show you how you can use this feature. So let's say this is the user uh, which we want to uh, timeout, just right click uh, this is for the PC, right click on it and then you'll have the option of timeout snowball bot. So let's say um, we time out this uh, particular person. Then for the duration you have starting from 60 seconds up, up to one week. So um, this is uh, the time limit uh, which you can use uh, for the, the people. And then you need to give uh, a reason for their um, timeout as well. So let's say we put in something and um, then you just need to let's say uh, five minutes and then confirm it once you confirm it um, as an admin you will be able to see this um, icon over here that um, this particular person or this user is timed out um, they won't be able to see this and other users will see the message as normal this is just for the admins or the, the moderators now uh, once this is done uh, they will see something like this uh, on their side um, that you can't join any um, uh, voice channels during the timeout. You've been uh, you've received a seven day timeout or whatever the time limit is, and this is what will appear on the other person's side. Uh, now let me show you how you can actually remove that. Let's say we remove this uh, person from the timeout. You don't have to actually wait. I mean, if you think that it was a mistake, then you can remove it immediately as well. Just right click, go to remove timeout, and then just confirm it. It will show you that this is the time period which is still remaining. Are you sure you want to remove this particular person? Just confirm it. And now you can see the icon is gone. So it's um, the person is back to normal. They'll be able to join everything and react and chat with other users. So this is how it works. Um, this is the whole idea. Uh, other than that, uh, if you want to do the same thing on mobile, uh, this is what it actually looks like. The process is the same. You just need to click on that particular person's uh, profile, open it, then you'll get the option of timeout. And then after timeout, just select the time limit and then submit it. If you want to remove it, go back to the profile of the person. You'll have the option of remove timeout, click on that and then confirm it and um, that particular person will be removed. Uh, if they have a time out on a mobile, this is what it looks like on the mobile. You received a seven day timeout in this particular server. Press OK. I mean, you'll get a notification like this when you are banned or timed out from that particular um, server. So this is how it works. This is all the detail regarding um, the timeout uh, feature. It seems like a good feature and hopefully um, there are going to be some improvements in this in future as well, uh, but it's a useful tool, especially for the big uh, servers. So hope this video was helpful and informational. If you need more details on this, there's a, a um, complete blog post on this. So I'll leave a link to that in the description and you can um, use that um, to get further um, details regarding this particular feature as well. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.